Let's do it. Congratulations, two dominating wins in a row over Braxton Amos. That's right. Do you feel like well, the grandest stage, right? Absolutely. Hulu Theater, Madison Square Garden, New York City, beat the streets. Does it get any better than this to come and dominate? Nah, dude, it gives you this feeling. You're like, I'm a performer, man. I want to entertain. You see these lights, you see this crowd, you're like, time to give them what they came for. You know what I'm saying? So great environment, great experiments, and it, and it pumps me up. You know what I'm saying? It gives me that exact motion in my body, you know? Came out, made some noise. So I'm talking about growing with Greco. How big is this to show up here and perform like you did? It's huge, man. Like, I mean, look at some of the other Greco matches and the high scoring points, right? Big throws on the crowd, right? If you, you came here as a first time fan watching wrestling, you'd be like, this is tight. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't matter what style it is, this is tight. So this is amazing for Greg, but people get to see a showcase at the grandest of theaters, as you say, and, and we're putting it on, man. We're putting on a damn show. Do you think this Greco group right now that's gonna go to Worlds has that in mind that you need to you know, work to grow this for? Absolutely, I, everyone, you know, it's like the, uh, it's the elephant in the room at all of our practices, at all of our tournaments, all of our events, every single time, every, even the US Open national tournaments, we're like, hey, we gotta put on a show because we understand the state we're in, and we're just trying. What are you, you know, we're trying to die behind those medals. We're trying to die behind our training and die behind those throws. You know, you hear people, yeah, you know. The other Greco athletes that came up here, also winning, they kind of quoted you saying that Greco athletes are treated like secondhand citizens. How does it feel to kind of be leading the charge? You know, you know, the first step in the change is to is to bring it up, make people talk about it, right? If you want something to change, you gotta talk about it. It has to be in conversation and. Uh, you know, I'm glad if, if a window was open or a door was open and people are considering like, hey, maybe I do have a mouth to say, maybe people do want to hear what we say, then I, you know, I damn sure encourage them to do so because it's, it's what we need, right? We need people talking about Greco, right? We need, we need this, this kind of fans, this kind of spectation and people coming and seeing what we do. So last year you got the bronze medal. You've always kind of been, you know, one of the best guys in the world, but uh, you know, you, you broke through, got on, got the medal. What does it do for your confidence going forward this year at the World Championships? I mean, like you said, I, I, I'm one of those guys, but I believe that years before I ever got that medal, I've always believed I was one of those guys. I believe that I'm a top competitor in the world. Every single time I step on the mat, even today, you know, I believe that Braxton wrestled the world champion today, and that's every single match I wrestle. Do we keep you through 2024? Through this final quad, will you stay through 2024 with Greco Team USA? Do we got to worry about losing you to face punching, to WWE? Do we keep you through this quad at least? You know, I think that you know it's something that's really important is to uh, is to understand the support that that Greco Roman needs. I love this sport with all my heart, my and my passions in this fully. But um, you know, I'm not I'm not arrogant or too naive to understand that perhaps if a better door opens for me, and maybe if I'm a I'm a larger talent, I get more support somewhere else. You know, potentially, God willing, you know, we would not stay, but we never know what the future holds. So, what has led to consistency for you? You know, I've been I've been grinding, you know, in, in silence and had my nose in the dirt. I think it's that, that that's the consistency is is my own. You know, I come to practice every single day. I have partners that are great. Marcus for now. I got an amazing spouse, you know what I'm saying? Not Mary J, but, you know, soon to be. But uh, my lady, Alexis Porter, she holds it down for me. And, uh, you know, that's the type of things you need. You need, a, you need a crew like that in your corner. And I'm grateful to have those friends that are dedicated to me, the people, my, my significant others. That's the largest thing, you know? It's being consistent with those people because, you know, as T.C. Danza like told me, uh, when you take care of the home life, the wrestling comes easy. So the home life, that's got to be a lot of wrestling conversations, too, with Alexis Porter being your fiance. Right, soon yeah. to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's not gonna see this. So what's it like? Like you guys just talking about wrestling all the time? Uh, quite a bit now. She's actually she's actually accepted a, a fintech job at Big ID and she's doing amazing things outside of the sport. But uh, absolutely, I mean you see her on Twitter. She got hot hands and she's she's extremely intelligent. And so, you know, we talk we talk a lot of wrestling. She understands the situation Greco's in and she supports it fully. You know, so yeah, it's pretty amazing. So uh, what about the Darth Vader oh, intro? You know what that man, everyone knows what it meant when they see me walking out there in the all black, the bad guy, right? And you know, Greco is kind of that sport, you know what I'm saying? It's the, it's the dark side, surely, right? The red versus the blue. So uh, I kind of gave into that. Beat the Streets is an organization to help develop, it's a youth or, uh, development organization to, have, to help kids in the inner city. Lots of black and brown kids in the organization. Does that mean more to you to come here and perform at an event where Beat the Streets is putting it on? Absolutely. Seen all the minorities in the corner, and they when I was walking out, and they were like, hey, hey, what's up, brother? You got this. You're going to kill it. And I was like, you damn right I'm going to kill it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you're going to be here to see it because this could be you. I am you. 
And so it's amazing seeing that, you know what I'm saying? I, I certainly didn't have that time at TC Dansler. And so for me, it's fascinating for these guys to be like, goat salt, this is the goat. And I'm like, wow, you know, these guys look up to me and it's an honor. And so I try to go out there and put on that damn show to, to represent that to the fullest as well. Are you conquering the impossible? Always, every single day. You in Cincinnati next week? I am. That's right. That's right. Yes, OAC. Yes, sir. We might be seeing you there. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. Okay, well, I'll be there for sure. I'm teaching bombs. That's all I know. <laughs> just bombs? Body lock or bust. <laughs> you got to teach guys to not be afraid of that Greco, right? Some guys are intimidated. When they get too old, they see a throw. It's like, no, nah, we're going to show them young that this is something you can do and you can land safe. So a lot of people are probably expecting you to bring home another medal. Does that put pressure on you or excite you? It excites me because I'm sure that the expectations before last world, was he's not going to get a medal. And so it excites me. It's like, let me keep... Uh, Surprising these people. Let me keep showing them what I made of, right? Congrats. Thank you very much.